So I have three part-time remote jobs for you today. Hopefully one of these works out for you. So two of these are entry level. You really don't need a whole lot of experience. And the third one is a really good high paying management kind of position. And even that one, they're not asking for a whole lot of experience there. So if you're ready, let's jump right into them. So the first one comes to us from a company called Copart. They're an online automobile auction company. And right now they have an opening for a remote member service CSR. This is a part-time remote position anywhere within the United States. And CSR stands for Customer Service Representative. So I'm going to scroll down this job lead to see if they tell us how much this one pays. And they don't. But based on my experience with jobs similar to this one, I'm willing to bet you can make anywhere from $16 to $18 per hour because they're really not asking for a whole lot of experience. So in this role, you'll provide exceptional customer service to internal and external customers of Copart. The primary function of this role is to provide inbound phone support to Copart members through the lifespan of their membership with the company. And you'll be working 30 hours per week. So you'll develop a thorough understanding of Copart practices, offering solutions that aid and facilitate a unique customer service experience. So this is a phone-based position. You'll be assisting customers resolving their issues on a first call resolution. You'll understand client needs, offering solutions and support. So all they want is one year of office support experience, preferably in a customer service role. They want you to have a high school diploma as well as excellent customer service skills. You have excellent written and verbal skills and you're proficient with Microsoft Office applications. You're a problem solver, you're a good typer, and you're able to multitask. So you may need to work overtime as needed and they tell us it's a plus if you're bilingual, but that's just a plus that's not required. So if this job interests you, you can find a direct link for this one in the description below this video. Just look for job number one. Our second part-time remote job is with a company called Wealth. They are a fast-growing digital health company. In other words, they help patients change their behavior so they can get better faster. They're looking for a member enrollment specialist. This is a part-time remote position and you can live anywhere within the United States for this job. And you'll be working 29 hours per week. Your schedule ranges from Monday through Saturday between the hours of 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you don't have to live in that time zone. You can live anywhere within the U.S. Just translate your local hours to those hours. And they'll pay $18 per hour plus a monthly bonus. As a member enrollment specialist, you'll be the first point of contact to the company's prospective members with the task of contacting them via phone to introduce and explain the wealth program and assist them with enrollment. You'll also work with the rest of the member operations team to conduct feedback outreaches to better help members' voices be heard. And they tell us their ideal candidate has a passion for health care and a desire for personal growth. And it looks like they have plenty of growth opportunities within the company as it expands. So even though this is an entry level position, you'll be able to grow with the company, move into better paying positions. So they're looking for someone who has excellent interpersonal skills. You're able to quickly build rapport with prospective members over the phone. You're able to convey benefits to those who might be able to utilize the program while overcoming objections because not everybody's going to be interested in the programs. So it goes without saying you need a positive attitude and empathy for patient needs. You have strong organizational skills. You're detail oriented. You have excellent communication skills and they'd like you to have a high school diploma or a GED. And they'd like you to have knowledge of Android and iOS mobile technology, and you're capable of guiding less tech-savvy individuals through app download and usage. And it would be nice if you're bilingual in English and Spanish, but that's not required. So this is job number two. It pays $18 per hour. If you like this one, you can find the link below. Okay, so that brings us to our third and final part-time remote job, and this is a management position that has the potential to pay up to $44 per hour. So this one comes to us from ShareCare. They're a health management company. Today, they're looking for a customer support manager. This is a part-time remote position, and even though it has the location of Atlanta, Georgia, you can ignore that. That's where this company is based. You can do this job anywhere within the United States. And I'm going to scroll down here to see if they tell us how much this job pays. And I don't see it anywhere in this job lead, so I went to their profile on Glassdoor. And if you don't know what Glassdoor is, it's an online platform where current and former employees can anonymously rate and review companies. So looking at their profile on Glassdoor, they don't have a customer support manager job listed, but they do have a customer service manager position. And it looks like current and former employees who have been customer service managers have earned anywhere from $25 to $44 per hour. Now there's no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make as a customer support manager. You'll have to work that out with them, but at least you have a starting point for your salary negotiations. 
So in this role, you'll be working 30 hours per week, and your main responsibility would be to maintain effective customer support for external and internal customers of ShareCare. So what that means is you'll manage the day-to-day -day BH customer support center operations. You'll manage assigned support channels such as chat and ticket support, monitor business and process metrics, attend to customer service issues and ensure effective and long-term problem resolution, and maintain working knowledge of ticketing and engagement chat platforms. You'll also conduct interviews and make selections to fill open roles, energize and motivate the customer service team, and provide coaching and professional development to team members. You'll handle escalated customer and personnel and or performance issues, build strong relationships with BH and other operations, conduct performance evaluations, handle escalated customer or client interactions, and analyze and recommend strategies to increase the quality and efficiency of support to customers. You'll also enforce and maintain departmental policies and procedures and monitor customer support for technical solutions implemented. You'll also manage and meet project implementation targets, conduct investigations, and provide responses to consumer-initiated complaints, develop documentation of implemented solutions, and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements impacting customer support function. So to qualify for this job, they prefer you have a bachelor's degree, but that's just preferred, that's not required, and they prefer you have a background in behavioral health. Again, just preferred, not required. However, you do need the ability to work well in a fast-paced, multitask environment, you're team-oriented, and you have experience in customer service with excellent communication skills. You're detail-oriented, you have strong analytical skills, you're proficient with Microsoft Office products, you're able to handle confidential materials, you have effective problem-solving skills, you're able to navigate customers through web and app interfaces, and you're able to navigate several tech systems, including databases, payment systems, online chats, etc. And most importantly, they'd like you to have at least three years of management or supervisory experience. And they tell us it's helpful, though not required, you have previous experience in a medical setting. So this is job number three. It has the potential to pay up to $44 per hour. If you like this one, you can find the link below. Job number three. So we just went over three part-time remote jobs. Hopefully one of these will work out for you. But if you're looking for something you can do nights, check out this video right here. Maybe one of those jobs will work out for you. Good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so, so much for popping in. And I'll meet you on the next job lead.